right, when we are dealing with integrals, we're once again going to be evaluating an integral. This time, we are going to have, instead of going, again, we could go from A to B, but this time, instead of going from a finite value A, we're actually going to be starting with an uh, infinite value of negative infinity. So, in this video, you'll be able to evaluate an integral with negative infinity as the lower bound. All right, if f of x can, is continuous on the integral, interval from negative infinity to b, then the integral of negative infinity to b of the function is equal to the limit as a approaches negative infinity of the integral from a to b of f of x dx. All right, again, that sounds pretty wordy. Basically, what we're going to do, just like we did in the first video, is we're going to replace the negative infinity with an actual letter, and we're going to let that letter approach negative infinity when we are done. And again, I just wanted to show you in this problem, 2 over x squared plus 4, if you were to graph it on your graphing calculator, looks something like this. And so basically we're trying to find the area under the curve from negative infinity till I get to 2. So that's the area we're trying to get. And we want to find out, can you actually get an answer, or does that not get small enough that it kind of cuts itself off and ends the area. So what we are going to do, again, pick your favorite letter. I will just stick with W again. So I'm going to be replacing the negative infinity with the W. And that, right, so we're going to be finding the limit as W approaches negative infinity. And then we are going to put W to 2 of 2 over x squared plus 4. All right, and then we are set, and actually there should have been a dx there. All right, so we are set to work the problem, so now we just get to evaluate this integral. The first thing that I'm going to do is bump that 2 out front, so I'll have 2, the integral from w to 2, of 1 over x squared plus 4. And then I notice that this is an arctan problem, and again, if you remember, arctan was du over u squared plus a squared is equal to 1 over a arctan u over a, so it definitely set up that same way. So I am going to let my u would have to be x, which would mean my du is 1, which I have, and then my a will be 2. So when I set up this answer, so far I have a 2 on the outside, and then notice it's 1 over a, so it's going to be 1 half arctan u over a, so x over 2, and then I'm going to go ahead, and those will cancel each other out, so I'll get arctan x over 2. Once I found my integral, I'm ready to uh, um, evaluate it at 2 and w. So if I plug in 2, I'll get the arctan of 1 and then minus. When I plug in w, I'll get the arctan of w over 2. Right? Obviously, we cannot evaluate arctan w over 2 because there's a w in it right now. I can go ahead and evaluate arctan of 1. What I would be thinking is where does the tangent equal 1? Where does the sine divided by the cosine equal 1? And that would be at pi over 4. So this answer is actually pi over 4 minus arctan w over 2. Okay, so I have gone as far as I can. Once I've done that now, I'm going to find the limit of this answer as w approaches negative infinity. So now I'm going to put negative infinity in for my w. So I'm going to have pi over 4 minus arctan negative infinity over 2, which would just be negative infinity. All right, so now you might be thinking, how do I evaluate arctan of negative infinity? The best way that I have for you to do this is to be thinking what the arctan looks like. If I do arctangent the tangent, excuse me, we want, we want to figure out where does the tangent equal negative infinity. So if I draw what the tangent function looks like, it looks something like this. There are asymptotes at the pi over 2's. Okay, so if I would like to figure out where does the tangent equal negative infinity, I basically can just look at where does this tangent function, where is it approaching negative infinity, and the first time that it is, is it's, as it's heading down towards negative pi over 2. So this answer is going to be negative pi over 2, and then I'll get um, pi over 4 minus negative pi over 2. So that will turn to plus, and if I get a common denominator, I'll have pi over 4 plus... 2 pi over 4, and that reduces to 3 pi over 4. So that would be my integral. So hopefully now you can evaluate an integral with negative infinity as the lower bound.